Hi guys, I'm Steve Good and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. I want to talk tonight uh, about a little trick on the scroll saw uh, that I had a lot of emails about and that is uh, I posted the patterns for these bookmarks uh, a few days ago and uh, they really got downloaded like crazy. It seems like everybody wanted to make some of these. The problem many of you had was where to find the thin stock to be able to make these bookmarks. Now a lot of you don't have you know, band saws where you can resaw, resaw your own material, so you were stuck with trying to find it on the internet or locally, which is hard to do. So I'm going to show you a little trick today, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to resaw using the scroll saw. And it is possible. Um, it's not the best method, but uh, because it's slow. But if you want to make some of these bookmarks, this will give you a chance to do it. What you're going to need to do this is you're going to need uh, some three-quarter inch lumber. In this case, I'm using walnut. I've got the walnut cut down to two inches and it's uh, six inches long which is the length of the bookmark. You're also going to need a pretty good scroll saw blade for this. Now I've been pretty impressed with these PS Wood Machines uh, scroll saw blades and uh, right uh, today I'm going to use the PS Wood Machine Super Sharp uh, number seven blade. And I believe these are precision ground blades because I'm not getting much drift on the blade when I cut. Okay, that's what you're going to need today. Get those materials together and I'll meet you over at the scroll saw and we'll see if we can make this happen. Here's a little bit of a long shot of the setup and how we're going to try to do this. Uh, we need a clamp uh, to do this resawing because I tried doing it freehand and you can do it but it's a little difficult. So all I've done is, is I've taken a board that I know has a pretty uh, true uh, edge and I've clamped it to the front and back of my scroll saw. And in this case, I was going to use the clamp and I was going to set the angle to compensate for the drift of the blade because, um, as most of you know, scroll saws don't cut uh, on a true front-to-back angle. They're, they're usually angled a little bit. But these particular blades that I'm using, I believe, are precision ground because I'm not getting any drift up off of them at all. So in this case, my, my clamp is clamped pretty straight front-to-back on the saw, but you may have to move this angle until you get uh, the compensation for the drift of whatever blade you're using. Uh, again, I'm using a number seven. A number nine might be a better choice here. Uh, the thicker the blade, probably the better off you're going to do. And with that, I'm going to zoom in and give you a little closer look. Okay, here's a pretty good tight angle of what we're trying to do. And what you want is you want to set the, uh, the gap between the blade and your clamp to whatever thickness that you want uh, your uh, bookmarks to be. In this case, I'm probably down to about a 32nd of an inch and uh, that might even be a little too thin. You could even go up to a sixteenth of an inch and be fine. Uh, but set this gap and uh, to the thickness you want and then we'll get ready to cut. We're ready to begin this uh, resawing here. I'm going to get the blower up out of the way nice and high. I've got the light up in, uh, in the you know, proper position where I can see what I'm doing real well. Got the clamp clamped to the table. I've got the speed of the saw turned down very slow. As a matter of fact, I'm even going to turn it down some more. This is not an efficient way to resaw lumber, trust me, but at least it'll give you an opportunity to cut some of these bookmarks. So with that, let's go ahead and begin the cut. Now if you start to notice that the blade's drifting out into the wood on you, it's because you don't have the angle of the clamp uh, right to compensate for the drift of the blade. So we'll see how we do here. Watch your fingers when you get up close to this piece because uh, this two inch uh, board is getting up close to the capacity of the stall and you don't want to get your fingers tensed under there. Now as I'm making this cut, I'm pulling the the, the back end of this out a little bit uh, to try to compensate for a little bit of drift I've got. So I'm not flush up against the clamp right now as I'm getting down to the end because it's still drifting just a little bit on me. And it looks like pulling it away just a little bit is allowing me to compensate for that drift pretty well. Now when you get down here to the end of the cut, make sure you get your thumb out of the way. 
can there, we're finished. And there's a piece of veneer that you'll be able to cut a bookmark out of. A uh, little bit of sanding on that, you'll have it down to just about the thickness you want. You want to sand, obviously you're going to sand these blade marks out anyway, so uh, a little hand sanding, just get you a block and wrap some sandpaper around it and sand it down until you get the thickness you want and that'll give you a chance to uh, make some of these bookmarks. Apply your pattern right to there, cut your bookmark out and you've got a nice little gift. Okay, thanks for joining me here at the Scroll Saw Workshop tonight. I hope this video gives you at least a chance uh, to make these bookmarks. Uh, since I posted those patterns, it's actually been one of the largest uh, downloaded patterns that I've ever put up. Uh, it's in the thousands right now of people that have downloaded those books. So obviously people want to do them and I'm getting a lot of emails about not being able to find the thickness of material you want. So there's an option. See you next time. Hope you like this video.